Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today what I'm going to show you is my homemade apple fritters. So let's get started. The ingredients that you'll need for your apple fritters is I have two Granny Smith apples that I peeled and diced up small. I also have some lemon juice in it. I have three cups of flour, two teaspoons of bacon powder, a teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, and a teaspoon of apple pie spice, along with two teaspoons of sugar. So I'll blend this all together. This is so quick and easy to make too. Okay, everything's all combined. Now for my wet ingredients, I have two eggs and one and a third cups of milk. So what I'm going to do is put my eggs in this bowl, then put the milk, then I'll take the dry ingredients, put it in the wet, and then I'll fold in my apples. But I'll drain all the lemon juice from my apples. Mix your eggs good before you add in your milk. Now I'll add in my milk, which is one and a third cups. Now I'll take my dry mixture and blend it into the wet mixture. I'll do a little at a time. I'll add the rest of the dry ingredients in. And you want to make sure this is well combined. Your batter will be a little bit thick. So I have a wooden spoon and just keep stirring it. Scrape the sides of your bowl. You can see how thick the batter is, that's what you want. Now I'll drain my apples and fold my apples in. And this is two Granny Smith apple that I cored, peeled, and diced up small. So now I'll add these two apples into my batter. Fold the apples in. I'll scrape the sides of my bowl. And 
And you'll place these apple fritters in your frying pan with vegetable oil and you want to brown them on both sides. I have my oil heating up in my frying pan on my stove. I have my burner on medium. I have a plate here with paper towel to drain off any excess oil. I have my apple fritter mixture in a bowl and I'll drop it by a couple tablespoons full. You can make them ho however big or small you want them. And then I'll put a glaze on top. These apple fritters are really simple and easy and quick to make. My oil is nice and hot, so now I'll drop my batter in the frying pan. I put three in my pan. I don't want to overcrowd it. You can see how nice they're going to be. So you want to brown them on both sides. And then I'll place them on my paper towel to drain. These apple fritters are so good. And once I put that glaze on, they're really tasty. You can see how nicely golden brown. I flip them over. It's time to take my apple fritters out of the pan, so I place them on my paper towel to drain. I'll let them cool off before I put the glaze on. So once I take this apple fritter out of the frying pan, I'll add some more. Once they're in the frying pan, I take my spatula and just kind of tap it down. So now I'll wait for that to brown before I flip them over to the other side to brown that side. For my glaze, I have one cup of powdered sugar. I have a third cup of milk. And I'll just add in about a teaspoon of vanilla. So I'll add in my vanilla. and now my milk and I'll mix that around. If it's too thick just add in a little bit more milk or if it's too thin add a little bit more powdered sugar. I see I'm going to have to add a little bit more powdered sugar. Scrape the sides of your bowl.
That was a half a cup of powdered sugar that I added. And this is the right consistency that you want. My apple fritters have cooled down, so now I'll put the glaze on top and then place them on my plate. This mixture made about nine apple fritters, and it depends on the size on how big you make them. I'll put glaze on some of my apple fritters, and then I'll leave some of the apple fritters plain. Now you just let these apple fritters sit so the glaze kind of hardens up a little bit on these apple fritters. And then enjoy! So now I'll take an apple fritter, cut it in half, and give it a try. Doesn't that look good? good. These apple fritters are really good and that glaze really tastes great on top. You can see how nice the inside looks. The apples cooked beautifully. I'll give it another bite. Mmm. This is really really good. Give it a try. These apple fritters, they taste just like an apple pie. It'd almost be like an apple pie fritter. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking and watching me make my homemade apple fritters. Give them a try. They're really good. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.